Hello, future people. Welcome to Getting Tabled. I'm Jason the Bruce. Today, we're going to be unboxing one of the most unique boxes I've ever seen. This is one of my purchases from PAX. It's bags of fruit. So while I was going around PAX, one of the indie developers that was there was selling a series of board games out of cups like this. Like all of them come like this. It's absolutely incredible. It's so unique. Um, on the highlights video, which you can see here, um, I mentioned that they had two simple rules, which is a card game where uh, with dice where you pull up two two rules from the deck you don't know what they're going to be you have to try and meet those rules within your time uh and then so on and so forth there was a number of different ones they were all very simple party games this was another another one that was demoed to me that i really thought was cool and so i actually purchased this one which is why i didn't talk about it in the highlight video because i figured i'll save that for now so we're going to unbox this we're going to have a look and then we're going to have a chat about why this is the one that I decided to buy. So, like I said, this is one of the most unique boxes I have ever seen. Simply because, I mean, look, it's not a box. It's literally a coffee cup. It's a really cool idea, especially for Melbourne. Melbourne is very much a coffee central type city. Um, so we're going to break into this. And in here we have one, two, three, four, five bags. We have some instructions that we'll go through in a moment. And then we have our game pieces. These bags here are empty. These are for your four players. We'll come back to what these are for in a moment. These are what, uh, these come into play in the game as well. This is a blind pull. Again, I'll come back to what these are for in a moment. These are absolutely gorgeous. And as you can hear, they are actually metal. So we will come back to those as well. We have a couple of dice here. They only count up one to three. So I can roll Bruce's quite easily, but they seem to be okay so far. And then we have our literal bag of fruit. This is rubber. And in fact, I suspect that if you were to use this on pencil, it would probably actually work because it does feel like that sort of rubber. Uh, I would not do that because it'll ruin your board game though. How to play. Give each player an empty bag. That's what these are for. Then put all of the fruit, coins, and the dice in the center of the table. The player that last ate a piece of fruit starts first. First player takes a bag with the cubes and starts without looking in the bag to draw a cube. For example, if the cube is black, that means the fruit is rotten and their turn ends. If they draw a coloured cube, they can choose to finish their turn and they take the fruit that, re that it represents. So this is a banana. This is grapes. This is watermelon. If a player wants to risk that fruit, they can draw again to a total of five fruits. But if they draw a black cube, a rotten fruit, their turn ends and they get no fruit from the bag. If they stop, they convert the cubes to fruit and put them in their bag. The cubes go back into the bag. If drawing their turn at least one coloured fruit cube and no black cubes, the player gets a bonus coin.
Any black cubes that are drawn are placed into the center of the table. Once the total number of black cubes reaches three, that triggers the buyer's phase. The player who draw who drew the third cube rolls two dice in the center of the table. Then, starting with that player, and without looking in their bags, each player can sell those two numbers of fruit. For example, if a two and a three were rolled, everyone can sell two of one type of fruit and three of a different type of fruit. One coin for each fruit sold. So, so I've got my bag full of cubes here. And I'm going to start by drawing. So my turn is already over. Next player goes. They've got a watermelon. They're going to try again. Banana. And they're going to try one more time. Now, they fail. This is not going to be good. So that goes back. They just saw what happened, so they're going to bank that. So that goes back in. They get a watermelon. First player kind of feels like they've got to catch up at this point. Well, there we go. They've got two watermelons. They're going to stop there. So this is, it's a really, really simple game. Uh, oh, I saw, I saw that there was a yellow coming up next, so. So we'll stop there. And that means they got three watermelons and two bananas. Picking these up on camera is not as easy. So there we oh nope. So there we go. Quick explanation. Really simple game for a party. I'd probably say this is a really good one to be playing with your kids. Like this is a really simple game. There's not really a lot to this, but at the same time, it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's very simple, it's really fun. And I'm sorry, but this is really cool. So that's bags of fruit. There's very much a lot of novelty to this. Like I said, it is a very simple game, and I don't mean that in a negative sense, but it's very simple. There's not a lot to this game. So it's great for kids. It's probably great for a party when you've maybe already had a few. Um, something quick in between a couple of more in-depth games. But you don't have to worry too much. Like It's two to four players. It says that it's ages eight and up. I honestly think you could go lower than that. Um, just so long as you're not going too young that they're going to try and swallow the cubes and stuff. But you don't really need... Like, this is really simple to understand. Um, it's not. It's certainly not an expensive game. It's not cheap by any stretch of the imagination either. Uh, I purchased this one, honestly, because I thought this would be great to see on camera. Um, it's a lot more in-depth and there's a lot more visual to this than there was with some of the other ones. So I'd highly recommend it. Um, like I said... It's fun. You've made it through to the end of another video. Your next mission is to hit subscribe and comment down below. If you'd like to reach out to the team, consider doing that, getting tabled at gmail.com. Consider subscribing to our Patreon. For only $2 a month, you get early access to almost every single video that we do. Our most active social media is facebook.com slash getting tabled. It's where you'll find everything first. There's also a Discord. There's an invite on screen right now. If you type that in, it'll give you instant access. If you're on Twitter or Instagram, you can find us at Getting Tabled. It's not the most active, but it's something we're trying to use more all the time. Come and check out Jason the Bruce at Twitch. He does both video game and hobby content. And of course, without question, play more games.